Hi, let's just get straight to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make gesso today. So this is the recipe. And essentially what we have is three tablespoons of PVC glue, three tablespoons of white acrylic paint, half a cup of baking soda, and don't use talc. Baking soda has a different reaction um, and it's a little bit safer. So you put the baking soda in the mixing bowl, you add your acrylic paint, then you add your glue, and then you mix thoroughly. Make sure you store it in an airtight container. So what I have is I have my mixing tool, my bowl I'm gonna mix in, my airtight container. I've already measured out a half a cup of the baking soda. We'll do three tablespoons of the school glue. We'll do three tablespoons of the acrylic paint. Okay, and don't forget to label. So I'll go ahead and put my label on, because goodness knows I often forget that. Okay, so we're making gesso. Half a cup of baking soda. The reason I add the white paint is for the coverage. I'm sure there's other kinds of colors that you could enjoy making gesso out of instead of just black and white. That's the beauty of making it yourself. Because then you have the option of making it however you want to make it. I hope I already opened this. That would be a no. Or maybe it's a yes, so we'll just do it this way. One. Two. As you can see, it's not a precise science, so each recipe is going to be a little bit different, or each mix is going to be a little bit different, but then again, that's how I cook, so maybe for those of you who are super precise, it'll be better for you. But first, I'm going to mix it with this. Boom. Make sure the glue is out of your way. It's starting to look like this. Now what I want is more of a pudding consistency. And so if it's not the texture I want, because I might have had too much baking soda in this mix, then uh, it's pretty much how you make a texture paste difference between it is how much baking soda or you can substitute plaster of Paris I just have baking soda on hand so another option is to add a little water uh, water and PVA glue makes water and normal school glue uh, that's how you make your Mod Podge. So adding water to your water-based glue and water-based paint, you can see I'm a messy cook, I drop everything, and a water-based paint. Oh, yeah. Definitely adding water. What I have here is my quarter cup of dry. Sorry for the noise for a second. I'm just going to add a little bit of water until I get the texture of pudding consistency. I'm just going to keep going. Until I like the consistency. Okay, what I added there is about... Uh, if I'm to look at this, I filled my half a cup by half, so that would be a quarter cup. And so maybe I only added a little more than a tablespoon of water to this mix. And now you can see it's much more of a pudding consistency. Get it off all the sides. The 
The next time I make this, I think I'm gonna add some old eyeshadow that's made of mica only uh, to give a little bit of shimmer to my gesso because I only use this kind of gesso for my junk journals and I just like shiny. So Let's test this, see how we like it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my paintbrush Cover this up, and I think I need more paint. Uh, so you can keep layering it, but I just think it's too clear. So this would be a nice clear gesso at this mixture, but it's not enough. So now we're gonna move up the recipe and I'll alter this in a bit. But here we go. Actually, it'd be nice if I added all of the paint because then it would be a recipe with two fluid ounces of paint. So let's just do that. This is one take because I'm not going to keep buying paint for these takes, so I apologize for the alteration to the recipe. reason why I'm like a little kid and enjoying the sound of that squeak. Can't stand the sound of someone slurping in a straw, but goodness knows I love the sound of things squeaking out of bottles. The crumble of paper. All right, here we go. Changing the recipe on the fly. Seeing how we like it with more paint. It could just be that this is really cheap Walmart paint. Now I know it's a really easy recipe change. Just instead of three tablespoons, we write Oh, I like that consistency. Look at this one. All right. Go to a different one and test this. Okay, it does not cover it enough for me. We'll see. Oh, wait, yeah. This will be good. All I want to do is I don't want it to have complete coverage. So I like to layer things over. But let's use this black piece as an example here. See how it mutes whatever's in the background? And so when you're doing layering, um, before you add whatever you want to the front and you want to put your gesso on the background, you have this. And one of the nice things is you see these strokes on your brush. I enjoy the brush strokes, but if you don't want the brush strokes, then you can actually sand gesso. Uh, Plaster of Paris, like I said, which you can just go get at Home Depot. Um, Plaster of Paris is uh, an alternative to using baking soda. Thank you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I don't trust my messy self all too much. Now what I've got to do now is pour it in here safely. <laughs> safely. Uh, just paint the bottom, just because I feel like it, getting the bottom off the brush. Okay.
Inspiração.